Hey guys, welcome to WP Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna dive deeper into our WP Event Manager plugin and show you some technical stuff. And today's topic will be how we can translate WP Event Manager pl core plugin or it add-ons. So our WP Event Manager plugin or it add-ons follows the pod files for the uh, translations. So for that, we need a software utility called PO Edit. Let me go ahead and show you what it is so if we head over to p edit.net and they provide the software for the windows and mac and linux since i'm on the windows i'm gonna go ahead and download the windows version so let me install this program so this is our home interface called po edit next what we need we need to download the wp event manager core plugin so let's head over to wp-eventmanager.com by the way this is our official website we have pretty useful information here we have our support stuff here and we have like our contact information our all the add-ons over here as well as we have the knowledge base and developer docs video tutorials such as feel free to check our website out give us a little suggestion how we can like improve it in the comment section right uh let's get back to the topic here we have our official plugin let's download from what is repository let's open this g file let's extract the file to our downloads folder so let's maximize this window first so let's click on new from port file then choose our port file and then here we see uh, language of the translation right so let's go ahead and select a non-english anglo language so i can show you how um, our translation works let me select my mother tongue there Bengali so if we hit ok you can see we have our source text in English we have our translation in Bengali right so what we can do so what we can do let's resize this a little bit so we have our better we have a better uh, view of it so if we select this uh, source text over here we have our wp event manager add-ons so this is our source text and this is our translation text what we can do so now we can write a translated text for this source text over here so let me go ahead and fire up google typing tools WP event manager what we have add-ons okay so, there so if we copy this and come over here to our translation so as you can see it got updated in real time we have our source text this says WP event manager add-ons in my mother tongue it says WP event manager add-on so this is an exact translation of this uh, source text in the uh, right hand side so what PO Edit helps you to do it helps you to translate the pod files it can be our plugin it can be any plugin or like any i18 in uh, translations so suppose we don't support your uh, language in our plugin then what you can do you can edit pod files using PO Edit to add your own translations into wp event manager if you want to contribute to our translation program let us know we will really appreciate it and we will be happy to introduce your translations into our plugin as well so let's save our uh, translation file so as you can see uh, po edit has already provided us with our language code and our country code over here but before that you have to add wp event manager dash then leave added as it was let's click save 
if we come to our develop event manager folder then go to languages so here we have our two generated file over here one is dot po that's po translation po edit and one is the dot mo compile translation so now what you have to do you have to open your ftp or your hosting panels file manager go to wp contained under your website's root directory then plugins then wp event manager and then under languages you upload these two file to update the translation over there or make a new translation available this, this is how you translate wp event manager's core plugin using po edit so translating our add-ons are pretty much the same you need to download the add-on zip up, unzip it and then under uh, languages directory you open the pod file and select your appropriate language what you want to translate to then follow the same steps save it save the file by name as the add-on name then dash the language code and country code po edit provides and after you uh, after you are done saving you need to upload that under wp uh, content slash plugins slash the add-on name slash the languages under there let me go ahead and give uh, you a few tips because all the custom translations uh, you have done and uploaded to the wordpress your wordpress site will be lost uh, when you are upgrading or updating the plugin or the wordpress so i highly encourage you to store those files uh, somewhere safe maybe on your local computer or maybe on the server so create a folder named uh, wp lang and then and place the language files uh, under appropriate subfolder so you can identify them later and that eliminates uh, the risk of losing the custom translations you have done and that also lets you restore the translation what you have done earlier after and what praise or a plugin upgrade there's like a few other ways you can do translation for uh, a pod file I, without using po edit that would be loco translate that's a wordpress plugin it gives you ability to edit po files within the browser or you can use translate.wordpress.org for uh, translate as well so lastly but not least uh, let me show you a few more tricks over here on po edit so how you update your translation uh, po file from a pod file right let's close this let's open here so imagine you have a po file but the original wp event manager spot file been changed a little bit so what you can do you click on here on your language dot po file then you go to catalog update from pod file select the pod file and it updates the po file from the pod file but your translations are still there and they will be there so one more thing uh suppose how you generate a dot and dot mo file automatically on your save like when you press ctrl s or save from here so what you have to do you have to go to file right then preferences on the general tab you have to make sure you have ticked this this checkbox over here says automatically compile mo file while saving by default it stays on but but in case it's not on make sure it's on so it will save you a lot of time and it and whenever you save a dot po file it will go ahead and compile and dot mo file for you and being that said we are pretty much at the end of the video i hope you are enjoying this kind of straight to the content guides and walkthroughs or the tutorials a sub to the channel would be phenomenal and i'll catch you in the next one